everybody, and welcome back to this game! This is gonna be the last time that I, uh, play it, I think. So I skipped pretty far ahead, and I'm already in the classroom. I did the introduction and everything, so we're just gonna continue on from wherever this is. So, like, it's lunchtime, basically. Oh, that was the lunch bell. Sounds like the school bell, but it's to signify that it's lunchtime. I stay seated in my chair in a daze, possibly from incoming hunger pains. Perhaps I should get something to eat? Question mark. Oh, it says that again. Hey. What the hell, man? Don't give me a heart attack. Oh, we're, we're using American bro speak? You got it, bro. Wink. Bro culture is a guy thing where dudes are dudes being bros. No, I will use it when we actually become bros. Okie dokie, go man. Go man means sorry. I actually knew that. Ha ha ha. Growl. You seem- it seems you're hungry. Obviously. Why don't we go to the lunchroom? Yeah. I'll treat you as a fellow classmate. This time we're gonna take his offer. Sure, sounds good. We arrived at to the we as we arrived into the cafeteria I noticed the lack of human life forms. It's common everyday scene in dating sims. Where is everyone? They probably they probably took every last thing on the menu and left. Of course. What really? Now what do we eat? Now. <laughs> we can we can work off our hungers our hunger by exercising. Yeah, with the what is that face? <laughs> in the sports field just outside of this lunchroom. Let's go. Oh, how convenient. I suppose we should work off the hunger like real Japanese men. If they were real Japanese men. Growl. But the hunger was too strong, as if someone had just gone to the kitchen to make me a sandwich, then stabbed me because I told them to make me that sang sandwich. I would so stab someone. Hahaha, <laughs> not really. Don't tell anyone to shut up and go to the kitchen. You will be stabbed. Or like when you cheat on your girlfriend and she stabs you and takes you onto a nice boat after chopping off your head. <laughs> School days. I'm too hungry to move. Class by Kun, on the other hand, was sprinting across the field like a gazelle. He sure isn't looking hungry. I'm going to the vending machine for a drink. Oh, could you get me a milk drink? Yeah, sure. I really, I think he should have just gone and gotten us both drinks because I just transferred here. I might get lost on my way to the vending machine. <laughs> I headed out to look for the vending machine. And there they were, sitting in a nice row. Looking at the displays, I rummaged inside my pockets. Luckily, I had enough for two drinks. I placed the right amount of Japanese yen into the machine for that milk drink classmate couldn't wanted. Plop. Then I inserted the same amount of change for another drink, eager for a rare strawberry milk drink that was so much better than that Nesquik crap. But instead, Plop gave another plain milk drink. What? You gotta be kidding me. Out of hunger and frustration, I kicked the vending machine. You baka, give me my Ichigo Pensu. <laughs> baka equals idiot. Ichigo equals strawberry. Pensu equals panties. I want my strawberry panties. You know that rumor that has been that pantry vending machine in Japan, right? You know that rumor about that? No, I... Oh, there's a... Is there a vending machine for panties in Japan? I, I, I don't know. I've never been there. I kicked it a few times and as soon as something fell out from the machine. It was another plain milk drink. <laughs> so <laughs> That's the game, guys. That's it. Seriously angered, I took the three milk drinks in a huff and spat at the machine. <laughs> As I walked away from the machine, a truck crashed into it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Trucks tend to hit vending machines often in animes and attempt to get rid of the main character. <laughs> Served you right, you unintelligible machine. <laughs> then I returned to the sports field. Here's your drink. Oh, thanks. Oh, oh thanks. You got three? I handed him his drink and started opening mine. Well, there were some complications and... I then took the straw and punctured a hole in the carton. Oh no. I stopped to listen before sipping the drink. 
I heard about that vending machine. I heard that it's haunted. Someone died inside of it. <laughs> Are you Baka? <laughs> By then, I already ripped the straw from the juice box and stabbed it into the opening. I placed my lip on lips and sucked ferociously. <laughs> Wait, don't! <laughs> what? Ew! I spat the at the taste of soured milk and tangy. <laughs> A tangy and curd texture settled into the back of my throat, making me gag. Black, <laughs> this is disgusting. That is what I was trying to warn you of. You weren't warning me about anything! I quickly threw all the milk drinks into the nearby trash can. <laughs> the flashing memory of me drinking rotten milk made me nauseous. <laughs> this must be karma, vengeance from the haunted vending machine. The ghost was jealous of Protekun's ravishing looks. See, I told you the vending machine was haunted. What? That? What does that have to do with the fact that I drank spoiled milk? Now I feel diarrhea coming on. I think you should head to the nurse's office for some la laxatives. I oh, I hope I said that right. What are laxatives? Don't know, but I think it's supposed to cure diarrhea. Laxatives are supposed to make you number two more. Oh. <laughs> oh, whatever. Just take me there. Yeah, my stomach churned as we moved through the hallways and climbed the stairs. We finally arrived at the nurse's office, but yeah, she was out. She probably went out for her lunch break. Well, who could have guessed? I guess I guess you'll have to suffer throughout the day with overflowing intestines. <laughs> I guess. Or I could skip school and head home. What a great idea. I'll come along to see you home then. Whoa, thanks man. I hardly even know you. <laughs> Well, it's for the sake of a classmate, even one who I only just met today who keeps on mouthing me. Classmate Kun is very nice. What did you say? Never mind. Let's get going. Wink. Out the school. Onto the street as well. Hey, wanna go to the park? No, because my anus is hurting. Well, you don't have to be so specific. Ah, uh, whatever. Just let me sit by the bench and you can play on the slide or whatever you little children play on. Gosh, sitting down feels like dying. <laughs> Are you feeling any better? Do I look like I'm feeling any better? Well, seeing that you're sweating and turning blue in the face... I don't know? <laughs> Ugh, whatever. Then suddenly a bunch of rough and tough looking boys showed up. Delinquents. Oh no. I was about to get up to escape. The delinquents noticed me. Classmate Kun, of course, looked dumb as usual. He did not notice the crowd coming over. Hey, let's go! I tucked on his shirt to persuade him to move. What's wrong, Prote Kun? Like a conveniently placed plot point that sh that couldn't be avoided, the delinquents approached us. It was unavoidable. Well, if it isn't two youthful young men skipping school. And look, one of them has white hair. Where? Let me see! Boys A, B, C are figments of your imagination. Ah. They push classmate Kun out of the way just to get in front of me. Crowding over me, one of them tugged my hair. Ow! Let go! Don't talk back if you want to get hurt. Now hand over your money. Bullies love stolen money. Yeah! The stolen and stolen lovers. Bullies like taking your money and your girlfriend in animes. Hey, don't touch him! Before classmate Kun could intervene, he was punched to the ground by one of the faceless bullies. Hey! One of them took out a knife. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa there. Knives, knives, knives. Seriously? The first boy looked stunned and a bit flustered. What's so bad about knives? It isn't that a bit overdone. Don't you have, like, don't you have some other weapon you could use that isn't sharp? Like a gun? You're freaking Yankees. For God's sake, just be a bit more in innovative. Ugh. It, you know, whatever. Protekun is used to having his rivals thrown mountains and missiles at him from where he is busy training in the forest. I don't think I read that right. Then again, I can't read. Ugh, this always happens when I get threatened with a knife. They are my foolish courage and impulsive Shuan nature. Shut it! You're in no position to criticize what I use to scare my victims. Now, hand it over. He started to brandish the knife, the knife towards me, possibly set off by my offhand comments. Oh no, 
These faceless bullies with no physical mass are throwing words at me. I'm so defenseless. Crota Kun continues to gain self awareness. Sticks and stones may break bones, but words, words will never hurt me. Shut it, you cliched anime white haired Gary Stew. Hey, that hurt. Well, the truth hurts, and so does my knife. The third boy collapsed. Then the second boy. I looked up to find that classmate Kun had defeated them both. <laughs> Don't underestimate me. Strong fist. Boy A starts to get clumsy with the appear apparent defeat of his accomplices. Don't come any closer, you monster. Or else what? I'm a sports junkie. An athletic one at that. Classmate Kun is secretly on steroids. <laughs> And with a swoop, bam, down went the last boy. Whoa, many thanks. Oh, thanks, man. You saved me. Well, it was for my friend. Yeah, I guess. Are you okay? Well, other than the fact that I'm very in need of a toilet, not good. <laughs> How about you? Just a bruise here and there. Wink. <laughs> That's good. So, I guess we're friends now? Yeah. Our, so our relationship went up a step. But perhaps it can go further? To best friends? Or something else? We went back to the street after we called the cops about the Yankees. The police didn't answer because they were on a secret important mission to stop people constrained of terror in the true end. We both went home safe and sound, going our separate ways. I sat on the toilet once I got home and parted for the rest of the day, Contempli uh, contemplating the homoerotic yeah, homoerotic feelings caused by classmate Kun. Thus, this was the end of my rather exciting first day of high school in Japan. Time skip. Three days later. A lot has happened within just a few days. I hung out with classmate Kun every one of those days, 24-7. We decided to hang out today, too. It was special since it was our fourth day anniversary. Since it was four days since we met. So he took me to a can He took me out on a candlelit dinner. With my black credit card. I took it from his rich inheritance. A protagonist needs all the resources to become a great protagonist. Quoted from Mr. Protag, Protagon's father. <laughs> After our candlelit dinner, that I wasn't sure was super romantic or just bromantic, we decided to stay the night in the hotel. Pretty sure you mean gay. Uh, how was the meal? The best money could buy. Of course, it was a good meal. They had the best kuso they could ever afford. <laughs> Believe it. <laughs> I flashed my black credit card confidently. It was my father's after all, since I still had it a year before I could take over his multi-millionaire company. Heh <laughs> nice. But this, but once this conversation settled down, I just realized, dun dun dun, there was only one bed! There's supposed to be some dramatic music there to emphasize Protecon's desperate situation. Why did we reserve a one-bed hotel room when we had a black MasterCard? The hotel staff secretly shipped classmate Kun X. Protect Kun. Beats me. Shall we head to bed? But, but, but it's a single bed. It's big enough to hold both of us. Classmate Kun quickly stripped himself and jumped into the bed, covering his nude body in a flash. His anime nipples are non-existent. He has left enough room on his left side and waved me over. He patted the empty bed of the side of the bed sed seductively. There's some room for you. Get in. Dot dot dot. I was silent, but I obeyed. I, was t I too stripped as much as possible and got in. He left his hard boxer briefs on. It was nothing weird, right? Just bros being bros. Ha ha ha. Don't lie to yourself. Good night. The lamp was shut off and classmate Kun drifted off into a quiet slumber. I, on the other hand, didn't get as much sleep as I wanted because of secret reasons. And nothing happened that night. It was a new day at school and a new morning after the inc that incident. That incident, which should not be named, was probably a so nerve-wracking that I accidentally drank spoiled milk that morning at the hotel. <laughs> I don't know why there was spoiled milk at the hotel, but I shall sue them later. Ever since, but ever since yesterday, I have seen classmate Kun in a different light. <laughs> what? Like he became more attractive, as though he had upgraded from NPC NPC status. Well, no kidding. 
It's not like I'm using my bishy vision to see how he looks or anything. Or that I'm just being delusional and seeing him differently. His bishy vision can even turn a pigeon into a cute anime burby. Oh, that said Barbie at first, but... Burby? What are you doing? Act nothing, just monologuing. Oh, oh cool. So, do you want to skip school? Classmate Kun is very dedicated Kuso Gakuin student. But with you? I'm sorry, I mean, I'm sorry I have to go to school. But, but you always skip school with me. What's the point of being a student if you're just going to skip? They were just in their free school uniform? It, it wasn't free. I, I'm sorry. I just couldn't accept his invitation properly. Excuse that. Let's get rid of it. Okay. Nothing could have stayed the same after what happened last night. What happened last night? Absolutely nothing. I'm sorry, classmate Kun. I don't think I could be your best friend anymore. Class ended and I didn't see classmate Kun come in at all. I wonder if my refusal to skip school with him hurt him. With these troubled thoughts in my head, and with my stomach being troubled by the spoiled milk, I decided to tread back home. Down the stairs, I began flashbacking my first few days with classmate Kun. He was your average Joe, but surprisingly, he was quite popular with the girls, as well as kind to anyone who spoke with him. Classmate Kun was actually the original protagonist before Protag Kun transferred in. That's why he's so plain. But he was especially kind to me. He walked with me home after my vending machine incident. Then we encountered those bullies. And he saved me in the park. Oh, the park looks... This park looks very similar to the one Classmate Kun saved me at. I bet it's the same park. Even the pain I felt <laughs> in my wee-wee was the same as the pain that I feel now. Especially with a heavier heart. Krotai Kun is a talented poet when he's in love. Luckily, I do believe there's a bathroom around here. As I quickly searched the park, I came across a park bathroom. And there was a bench in front of it. I looked over and I made eye contact with... Oh, who is it? <laughs> um... So there are two options. I think... Is that... Are we renaming him? <laughs> ya... Yarna... Uh. Yeah, Yara Naika or Yuho Lee Otoko. I'm just gonna. I don't know what these mean. Let's go with the uh, this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yara and yeah, Yara Naika. I said slowly as I unbuttoned my sweater. Classmate could. Oh, he's got an expression. Dot dot dot. I suppose he was the one that was supposed to say Yara Naika. He was sitting on the bench after all. If you don't read Kusomiso technique for your own sanity, don't waste my time. Well wait, I just wanted to talk. I need to use the bathroom. Can we talk about it later? We, we need to talk now. <gasps> Let's talk in the bathroom stall. That's not a great place to talk about your friendship. Think about the toilet. How awkward would that be for it? <laughs> oh, okay. So, what did you want to say? Hurry up. Even though I said this, I knew what was the matter. However, I felt my butt couldn't hold it much longer. This is where the <laughs> toilet humor gets out of hand. Uh, I'm not sure, but I, I think Protekun is avoiding me. <gasps> I may or may not be. I want to know... Why? I'll do anything, anything for you to be my friend again. R really? Oopsies. Oh no, I don't think I can keep it in any longer. I think I have something to tell you too. Well, what is it? I, 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 I really, really, like, need to poop. <laughs> Look at my face. I don't know, I'm mousing around it, but I don't think you can see my mouse. Look at my poop! What do you think? <laughs> it's very... big. A distinctive line from Kuso Miso Technique. A bar a manga you should go out of your way to read. I thought we were just told not to read it. But just remember... <laughs> Bad end? 
Crucible is a technique bad end? Game over. Oh, well, okay. That's how it ended. Looked at my poo. I was kind of trying to rush through it since... Well, I mean, I don't know. I've got, like, work, homework to do. It's kind of weird. But that was actually a funnier end than I thought. So, <laughs> that was the last time I think I will play this. I don't know. I might come back later and do it again, but... I don't know. We did it four times. And so I think that this is a good way to end it off. Like, look at my poo! What do you see? <laughs> anyway... Um... Yeah, so I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do next. I have a whole week to think about it. But, yeah, actually, I went to a... Ooh, I might show that. I went to a con, actually. Yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Uh, a mini anime con that happens around here. And I actually got some stuff. But that was fun. I don't know. Anyway, have a great Tuesday, and... I will find something for next week. Alright. Have a great day out there.